There are some crazy sales on Motion VFX this year. Black Week, as always, has some really good deals. So does Motion VFX. If you get Cine Studio and Design Studio together, you can get 30% off. That is a lot. And if you're not part of the Final Cut, you know, team, then you can have the plugins for Premiere Pro and DaVinci with the code BW30 for an extra up to 30% off. Yeah. That, that's pretty cool. And those are really good deals because I always tell everybody that Motion VFX is the number one company for plugins in the whole wide world. They're based in Poland. Absolutely fantastic company, love them to bits. And before I worked with them, I did use their plugins and now it's great working with them because I can promote them honestly. And it's a company that I really, really stand by. Great people, great plugins. And it just gives your work this kind of, this quality, this finesse that makes it feel like a movie, you know? So what they do is excellent. And we have Cine Studio, which I've been using for a while. You can see my review up here. And we have Design Studio, which you can see up here. Recently, I have been using Design Studio a lot because it speeds up my workflow. It is an extension that is native to Final Cut Pro. You install it, it's right there. You click on it and you have everything there. And you can range it into your own library. That saves my time so much that I have my library, I go into it, I'm like, oh, I want this, 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 this for this video. And it's stuff that I use on a, you know, on a daily basis, so I don't have to go search for it, type things in, or put it into motion, export it in my own way and have it there. It's always there, I go in, and I know exactly what I need to do. I don't spend, you know, an hour wasting time looking for stuff. So with 30% off these plugins, they are on fire. Let me very, very quickly show you around Design Studio because it is no doubt my favorite and you can have a look what you see. That was English. So this is exactly where the extension is. If you press here, we have M Captions AI, which is absolutely fantastic. And we have M Extension. If we press that, it opens up M Extension where you find everything you need. So M Collections, M Elements, and different libraries you can make to make your life easier. If you scan through all of these, you can see that there is a lot. There is a lot, a massive amount to choose from. And a lot of it already is very, I'm gonna say it, cinematic. It is very cinematic. It looks absolutely fantastic. And all you have to do really, to add it to your collection, right click, add it to your collection. And where your collection is, I have MVFX Scrubber. You add it there and every time you want to find it, you don't have to go through stuff. You basically go back into your collection and you're done. See, look, let's do it again. Add to collection, scroll down, MVFX Scrubber, and boom, it's in there. And we can look through different themes and types. So say we're looking through cinematic, which I look through a lot. You have cinematic and say we use backgrounds and you can choose different backgrounds. So there is literally so much for every creator out there here that uh, it's absolutely incredible so say you're making an effect right you need a good effect for your cinematic film you're gonna find them here you're gonna find every single one here and you can see what they look like because they preview when you put your mouse on top of them which <laughs> obviously just makes your life so much faster and easier now if we get rid of cinematic we can try for example a documentary Say you're making something documentary and you want infographics. Then, yeah, you can find them here. I mean, there is quite a few of them. And the great thing about this is that Motion VFX is constantly adding to these libraries. So all the time, there's something new coming out. Say we go into overlay effects, documentary, placeholders. You can find all these here and they keep on coming out with new ones, adding to it nonstop. So social media by itself you have a lot. So if you're a YouTuber, a creator, you can find a lot here to make your films have that kind of, you know, look, that kind of style that you're actually searching for. So next to M Collections, we have M Elements, but let's go into My Library. This is where I come a lot, and this is where I have my downloads. So if you download various collections, they come here. Now, if you make your own collection, so MVFX Scrabber, it's right here. So this is stuff I use on a daily basis, all the time. I come in here and I basically drag these onto my timeline and it's ready. I do keep on adding to it, but these are the ones that I use all the time. 
Sometimes I forget to add something to my collections and I have to search for it again. But generally, everything that you need to use on a daily basis, you're gonna put into here, drag it onto your timeline, and boom, you're done. It's all native. It's, you don't have to do anything. And if you choose that plugin that you've just dragged, you can change everything. Motion VFX has a lot of flexibility, and I mean a ton of flexibility when it comes to their plugins and what you can do with them and how you can change them. Literally almost every single detail is editable, which is fantastic. Change color, fonts, sizes, put it where you want, um, speed, it comes in and out. It, it has a lot of flexibility. Now, if we do go back into M extension, it's gonna leave off basically where you left it. So you can go back into your library, so M VFX Scrubber here, and you can choose the next things that you need. Or you can basically carry on searching. And like I said, this is almost endless. You get so much for your money. It's so well designed, it's so equipped that this is basically everything you need to create right here. You're gonna find it. You're not gonna run out. This is basically endless. Design Studio is no doubt my favorite plugin of all time just due to its speed and what it can do. It's, um, it's fantastic. So as you can see, Design Studio is really cool. It really speeds up your workflow. And in Cine Studio, you do have Mroto AI, which kind of has a similar thing in Final Cut Pro 11 now since the update, but I really do like the way Mroto AI works. And we also have M Tracker Surface, M Flare, M Puppet, M Film Look. It's got, it's got some really cool stuff in there. If we have a look at Design Studio, we're gonna have 4,000 top quality elements and AI-based captions that are actually better than the ones that Final Cut Pro came out in version 11. But apart from that, we do have, you know, a easy and quick drag and drop workflow that works really well. It's very simple and you make your own libraries, which is just like I said, it just saves me so much time when I'm working as a creator. I have to do the same stuff every day. And so I go in and, it, and I find new ones when I want something, you know, when I want to, make things a little bit, you know, more fun, then I'll find new ones, put them into my library and boom, 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 drag them onto my timeline and you're done, you're done. It's that quick and simple. Anyway, if you have any questions about any of this, drop them down below. The links are all down there for you guys to get some really, 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 really good deals this year. And, um, you know, give me a like, subscribe, ring that bell, and I'm gonna catch you on the next one.